salvation of your soul. Which is to uh, remind you how you're doing spiritually. And that's what uh, the spirituals is about. You're supposed to be part of the Holy Ring. Um, but the way it will be from now on is it will always be that council where you get that spiritual, which tells you. important because you're supposed to be spiritual. Why are you supposed to be spiritual? Because there's no other way to worship God. God is a spirit. And there's no other way to reach him. Unless you go to school. Water and uh, uh, Yashabian, please. Uh, we got a long uh, first uh, shalom. shalom. And uh, for all of the uh, ranks uh, nationwide, worldwide, welcome to headquarters, New York City, major conference, uh, March 1st. Also, uh, uh, the spirituals, um, uh, welcome. We are, we are an evolving nation. We are a nation that is uh, spiritually guided uh, by the Lord, our God, Jesus Christ. We are a nation um, like no other. Uh, we are the nation of Israel. the Lord our God Jesus Christ Israel shopping please 
uh, praise our God is, is completely accurate. That's what we, uh, as a nation of people, are uh, created to do. And like I said, we are, we are a nation um, like no other. We are a nation of people uh, that has an ancient history. Our history goes back to the very beginning. Um, and history meaning is a story that is, a, is to be told. Okay. Um, you have a nation uh, of people, um, plenty of nations on this earth, but they don't have a story to tell. Okay. Um, we have a true history. And our, our history goes back to the very beginning. It goes back to the first man that was recognized by God, um, the first man that was chosen by God, the first nation of people, and the first man that God has chosen out of that nation uh, to represent himself on earth. Um, it thus began a long history of the God-man relationship where there was a, a mortal people that was uh, chosen by God to start a divine government on earth. That's the God-man's relationship. Mortal men setting up something that's divine. And that goes back from the beginning of time. When he chose Adam over the nation of the Adamites, right? Um, when he called their name Adam, right? And he gave Adam dominion over every creature. And he brought everything to Adam to see what Adam would call it and whatsoever Adam, whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof, right? So the divine relationship, the divine government began at that point. We are a nation that's so unique that we are the only nation in history that have been uh, disassembled as a nation of people and destroyed. We are the only nation of people that has ever been taken out of a land that is our own and have not returned to it in millenniums. We are the only nation of people that there is no evidence that this people ever existed where the question is among the Gentiles, is this story actually true about this people? We're the only nation of people where our history is questioned, even though it's, it's evidently clear, like the scripture says, the earth helped the woman. Would that mean that there's all kind of proof, okay? The nations just don't, they don't really want to admit it. <laughs> that they don't want to admit that there was such a great people that once was a nation of people on this earth that lived in a land that governed themselves and their, their constitution and their government uh, was given to them by beings that's not of this earth. The wisdom that they operated uh, from and the laws that governed them as a people was given them or given to them by the only God, the mighty God, the supreme being. And that God was only for that people. Nations of this earth will never admit that. <laughs> Especially when uh, the truth that needs to be told is that those people um, are the most hated people on the planet right now. Well, been the most hated people on the planet. It's the people that they have labored to miseducate and make them feel like they was nothing um, and less than nothing because that's the reality of themselves. So they turn things upside down. We're the only nation on earth that was able to survive um, a history like that, being completely removed from our heritage and still being around. We're the only nation on earth that, able, that is able to come back from something like that. That's why I started this off by saying we are an evolving nation. 